Hello, this is Andy with Mountain Computers, the GoGreen PC tune-up guy. Today is October 9th, it's about 7 p.m. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I posted on my blog uh, SQLite entry, accessing SQLite databases in Windows Visual Studio, VBNet, or C-Sharp programming. Um, when I posted this, I was going to drop in the code, but I also wanted to include a video. So this is the video that's going to correspond with this. I was thinking about doing a really nice video, really nice post, and um, I couldn't get it together. There's just too much work, too much polishing that needed to be done. And I'm really much, I really like to just record it, look at it, post it, that's it. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to put those down below. So anyhow, this is how it works. I'm just gonna show you a few things here real quick. Um, so anyhow, uh, this is my SQLite dictionary. I, I had a project called Wordy Puzzles because I like Wordy Puzzles. And so, as you can see, um, in this directory, you'll see that I have um, a couple files here. Uh, actually, I'm in the wrong directory, so I'll go back up a couple. All right, these are the source files. Uh, these were the downloads. They're about 15 meg, 16 meg. And uh, so what happened was, is, and this was back in February, I downloaded this dictionary. And from February until now, I couldn't figure out how to get it into an application specific such that it was database driven on a client to where it was light and fast. Of course, along comes SQLite. But then how do you read and write <clears throat> in either C Sharp or VB.net to a SQLite database? Well, there's lots of sources and examples out there that just don't work. So I tried a dozen different uh, samples, <laughs> didn't work. They didn't talk about references. There was no video, there was no explanation. So basically, I went to GitHub. I mean, I finally found a dictionary. I said, Git. I just said, first of all, I just said the English dictionary, you know, uh, CSV format. And that should get. So I was like, oh, okay, that sounds good. And uh, this actually might be it. New one. No. Mm -mm. No. No. But anyhow, the person that did this, it was G I S T. I don't see it yet. Anyhow, I found one, and it was really nice. So I downloaded it, but it was in MySQL format. So as you can tell, MySQL. So I had to install MySQL, and then I ran the script. So the MySQL script is just an insert with a bazillion entries. So if I just go ahead and uh, just, not cat, but um, hmm. what is it? Damn, it's been a day. Oh, type in too many different languages. English, SQL, uh, just more than that. So as you can see, this is a MySQL dump um, that it downloaded. That's what it looks like, okay? So if I do this again, let's go back to the February one. So if I type E1 SQL, yeah, it's the same thing, right? So there's a couple fields you want to look at. Entries, that's the table name. Um, and then three, uh, three rows or three columns, word, word type, and definition. So basically that. You run that. It puts it into a SQL database. Once it's in a SQL database, then you can export it. Uh, so uh, yeah, so you can export it. So as you can see, um, the Excel version of that is this, okay? So it's not too hard, just word or type definition. So you go from GitHub or whatever your source is, it, whatever format it is, and you just basically word, word, type definition, three columns. So insert that into a MySQL database, take MySQL, export that to a CSV file. Then you take the CSV file, import it into SQLite. Okay, I'm not going to show you that stuff. I mean, you learn it on your own. If you do it enough times, you'll, you'll have it figured out. So once it's in a CSV file, then you import it into uh, SQLite. So in my case, I have a project file. And it's asking me to stop. I'll say no. So this one has... Um, oops, let me go here. Used to control E. So do that. So 176,000 roads. So if I just say select, it's just, it'll show me. Yeah, there you go, field one, two, three, and four. Um, database structure, 
English dictionary, I call it field one, two, and three. So that's what my uh, SQLite does when you import it without some sort of like template or whatever. So that's it. So SQLite database is called this en dictionary dot db okay so i took that into uh my project file which is inside the subdirectory and if i just go into the this bin cd uh debug you can see that i actually copied that into my debug output folder okay so let's bring up this let's close this for a second close solution to show you that it is all together 40 pluses those are the other examples I tried. But the goal was I only wanted one imports for this really light application. And all the other examples had three, four, and five dependencies, probably because they're trying to do a whole bunch of other stuff. But I just need one. I just know when I write an application, I just need uh, one library, access the database, read, write to it, do whatever. Fast. And I like OLEDB too, so I don't like all the overhead that goes through the registry. So here's my application. So basically, it's just a form, list box, label, exit file. That's it. So if I go back over to my code, I have one imports system, data SQLite. And that's coming from my NuGet package manager. And this is the trick. You have to download, you have to find in the browse the system data SQLite core. When you do that, all the rest of these things come along. Okay. So pay attention to this. This is the important part. Um, once you get this down, I know it sounds like a lot of extra stuff. What, what gets used, I don't know. I don't get into this really crazy. I just like prototypes that work. And then I make them as tight as possible. So when the form loads, I just say my SQLite read DB. And I just need to read a couple records just to see if I'm connected. So I go down here to this function and uh, to the subroutine. This subroutine will call a function called my dictionary exists. So what it does, it just goes up here and it says dictionary is false, does set it false. Then see if it exists, and then just update the label, debug it out, and then add to the list box, set it to true. If not, leave it as false and return with that value. If true, then this is the connection string I use, okay? I had to figure out this out. These pieces were not all together. So my connection string application startup path, that's why it's in the debug folder because I'm in debug mode. EN dictionary DB version three fail if missing true SQLite connection, SQLite command, fire up the reader, and then set the connection string as this, open it, and then set my command, set it to say select from that dictionary file that, that you saw, limit to 15 records, and execute reader. Maybe this is just 15 minus one, I don't know. Seems like 15. Execute the reader, and then it says my data.read, and if it has rows, then say, oh, it has rows, reading 15 records. Um, so set up my count, set it to one. I always start one when I'm doing a list for readability rather than zero, even though zero is there. List box, add the data, and these are the fields, field one, two, and three. So it's my data zero, my data one, my data two. Okay, so if you don't understand the results of a read is going to be in that data object and it's going to be in um it's not tuples it's like zero one two okay in that array so debug it out you might count it up and then when you're done close if there was a problem catch this i said do nothing finally do nothing if it's going to wrap it up that's it when i click the exit button it just says application exit so let's run this there you go it, it did it Okay, there's the debug, there's the screen, dictionary exists, has rows, there's 14, technically 15 I asked for, and I have to do the title, and that's it. So, can should be as simple as this, you should have a video, you should have the code, you should understand the dependencies, I'm running uh, Visual Studio, oh, it does, I hate when it does that, 16.7.5, um, SQLite, I was running, I think, three point something, about three, three twelve. Okay, so you know all your versions, and my SQL. Um, what was my SQL version? I don't know. Oh eight. Okay, it's fine. So, anyhow, that's it. 
Zandy for Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy. I just wanted to share with you this code. I'm going to paste this into my blog. I'm going to add this video, link it there, and then repost it to my Twitter account and my Facebook account for GGPCTU. And that's it. So the end result, little tight application, independent database, no internet connection, and just make all sorts of dictionary, English, random, you know, computer-based training, computer-based game, where uh, if you need to update the dictionary, check if you have it on the internet, go to a location, download the latest database, disconnect, reconnect your database, and that's it. So anyhow, Andy from Mount Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy, like, subscribe, and share, and donate if you like. We always like, we don't have a Patreon account, so anyhow. Have a great day. Take care.